Hey, g'day guys. It's Galvin from the Couching Company in New Zealand. Um, I supplied a customer the other day with a tuning map for his Haltech ECU. And he's wiring it up and sorting some stuff out. And I said, hey, I'll, I'll send you a base file. Um, he had purchased stuff off me, so don't if you haven't bought stuff off me, don't come asking me for maps. Um, it's something that I keep for my customers. Or if I supply an ECU or wiring loom, of course, I will set up the ECU for you. Anyway, and I said to him, you need to just adjust it to suit your needs. And I sent him pretty close to this map here. And then I said, hey, do you set up your injectors properly? And what he did is he pretty much just rescaled the these settings. So he took those, worked out as a percentage of his new size, and then he changed the map. Um, what you can actually do is... Um, change the flow characteristics of the injectors in the software. This is NSP. This tune was actually for a 2500, but it's close enough. And if we go here, if we go up here, so you've got the fuel system, and you've got the information about the fuel system. And then if we scroll down to the fuel tuning heading, we look down the bottom here, and it's got this stage one. So sometimes it's tucked up like that, okay? So you, whenever there's a sideways arrow, you click on it, it drops stuff down. Firing angle, dead time. So this is where you enter the dead time calculations for your injectors. Okay, and then look at this, there's the flow. And these ones, this is actually on 240. I'm sure, oh, no, what's happened is, this tune I actually sent away to Australia. But before I sent it, I'd actually resized it to 5.25. Now, I'm not sure what uh, size Simon's using, but what Simon can do is he can reload the map I sent him, or I can send another copy somewhere, that's fine. And then you can type in right there the size of your injectors. Okay, real simple, uh, real, real easy. A few other things that he actually picked up, which I was really impressed by, okay, he picked up that the there was no TPS turned on. And that was because it was a drive by wire engine. Okay. So and maybe we will should we just have a give me a moment to think about it. We might just look at that as well, eh? Just right oh let's, let's have a look at this. I just shoot off to a couple of things, but let's have a look here. We're gonna click on Enable disable functions up here. We're going to slide along here and I'm going to find drive by wire. There is drive by wire. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the drive by wire and it's going to freak out and bring out a whole lot of other things. Idle control on and I want throttle position sensor. I'm going to turn that on, shall we? Throttle position sensor, so we're going to turn that on. And now, of course, it isn't allocated in the software, so you need to go through and allocate um, or assign the throttle position sensor. Let me just see what it's done down in the drive by wire. Oh, no, it might be okay because it's, it's taking it out, so it needs to be assigned. And these will be some inputs that, that were available or we used before for the drive by wire. So you can choose them, put your throttle position sensor on one of those. I'm gonna put it there, push OK. Uh, I don't need a pull up. Don't need a pull up on it. And then go in and calibrate the, the TPS to suit. So, just a couple of, there's a couple of hints. It was actually more about sizing those injectors properly. Um, I'm probably going to do another one for the Link ECU because I've got a customer who needs sizing on injectors on a Link ECU as well. I'm not going to put them both together because I don't want to piss both Haltech and Link off. But I hope that's been helpful and we'll talk to you again soon. We'll catch you later.